man, I feel good. So good. So good. I got to hear. <laughs> How about you guys? Are you feeling good today? Hopefully. Real quick, congrats to everyone who was able to decipher today's classic rebuild team. If not, you will see in a second, it is not the Saints. <laughs> That's just the first team that pops up when you come in. Anyway, this is Madden 2011. This is Strange Voodoo TV, and I'm Buddy Strange. How are you doing today? Hopefully pretty good. I already said I'm feeling good, and I'm ready for some football. <laughs> anyway, let's jump into this game. I have not played Matt. This is the first time I've played Madden 2011 since probably 2011. <laughs> Uh, and that's because, I'll give you a quick little story, my Xbox 360 back in the day, in around 2011, after a couple months of playing this, <laughs> it got Red Ring of Death, and this was the game in there. Got it mid-game, and I was really mad. Really mad. So what I decided to do was force the disc out, and just snap the shit out of it. <laughs> So, that's what happened to Madden 2011 for me back in the day. I ordered it off of Amazon because Amazon's awesome. It has everything that you could ever want or need. It's not a sponsor, but I'm glad to plug it. And hey, Amazon, if you want uh, if you want a good, uh, good sponsorship opportunity, I am all in for that because I use your service a lot. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's what happened to my disc. So uh, I ordered it and now I'm about to play it for you guys so uh let's uh let's start this classic rebuild what do you say and the team we are going to pick is the what was it new mouths and 11 ruffalo pills and that is buffalo bills <laughs> They went 6-10. and ten. They have terrible stats. Oh, man. Their quarterback room may need a little help. Yeah, we're going to toggle this team, and we are going to accept. Let's get into this rebuild. All right, welcome to the main screen. Bills franchise year one. Yeah, this brings back some memories. Tampa gets Super Bowl, so these are the stories. Nice. Salary cap. Wow. Okay, that's pretty cool. Tells you just salary cap right off the bat where the Super Bowl is. I like that. And then this is all the team management stuff. This is this is a pretty good layout. <laughs> Can you smell that? Can you feel that? Or is it just me? Do you feel that, guys? Cause it 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 it, it feels like a little uh little fits magic is around us. Do you <laughs> we have Ryan Fitzmagic Fitzpatrick on our team. He's a 70 overall. And look at that old Trent Edwards. Oh, man. I remember Trent Edwards. Brian Brom. Yeah. Levi Brown. Yeah, we got Ryan Fitzpatrick. So maybe we don't have to overhaul the quarterback room. We'll definitely need some depth. I, I don't think Ryan Fitzpatrick's going to be the one. But, hey, you never know. <laughs> And then we've got a great running back group and uh, Fred Jackson, Marshawn Lynch, and C.J. Spiller. Holy crap. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. We got our, uh, you know, power power back or third down back and our uh, filler back. Or Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Um, wide receivers, we definitely need some help. I mean, we got Lee Evans, but eh, we'll definitely need some help. Roscoe Parrish, Stevie Brickhands Johnson, or I guess Steve Johnson in this. I thought... Isn't it Stevie Johnson? Maybe they just got it wrong. Maybe, maybe change it. I have no idea. I thought it was Stevie Johnson. Tight ends need some help. Line. Uh, hey, Andy Levitri. He was good there for a second. Dropped off. Eric Wood is a right guard instead of a center. We might move him over. Just like they did. Marcus Stroud late in his career. <laughs> Uh, Kyle Williams, only a 79. I guess that's before he got big. In a star sense, not really <laughs> a physical sense. But uh, Paul Plusney, before he went to the Jacksonville Jaguars, that's uh, that's pretty good. We'll look at uh, keeping him. What's his contract like? One. He's got one year left, and then he went to Jacksonville, I'm sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see about keeping him around. Show we'll all right cornerbacks are looking okay um at least starters are looking okay and then after that it kind of drops off but drayton florence he was pretty good in real life but uh wait is that guy named corner reggie corner <laughs> 
he has the perfect name for that position. It's like, uh, what, what's his, uh, there's a guy who plays for Kansas, his name, I forget his first name, but his last name's Defense. Uh, that's fantastic. <laughs> nice. And then Jarius Bird, before he became not so good with the Saints, after he left the Bills, I think he had some injury issues and stuff, and then... Yeah, but uh, he was pretty good when he was on the Bills, so that's good to have him. He's an 87, which is nice, and he's young. He's uh, only one year in. And then Dante Whitner is a fairly young young stud, 83. So we have a really good defensive backcore, especially in the safety group. Kicker, Lindell, we'll see. And then Mormon, solid punter, just in case, especially for the first year where we don't really touch the team. So, hey, you know what? Maybe we can do something with this. I will see what the depth chart. Let's, let's see what our team's looking like, and then we'll get into the season and see what we can do in the first season of this rebuild. All right, at quarterback, you know, we, come on. <laughs> we have to start Fitzpatrick. Oh, man. What if he gets like 400, 400, 400 yard games? That'd be fantastic. So yeah, we're definitely gonna start the Harvard alumni. Man, that uh, that uh, doesn't sound right. <laughs> Harvard alumni starting quarterback. Man, that guy is gonna be a stud one day. I just know it. Be in the NFL record books. <laughs> anyway, Fred Jackson. Yeah, we're gonna start him. Although Marshawn Lynch. Mm -hmm. Should we start Marshawn Lynch and then just Fred Jackson on third downs? Nah, I want Fred Jackson in there. All right, at wide receiver, I mean, and then at wide receiver, yeah, I mean, this is going to be how it has to be. And the reason Roscoe Parrish is in third is because he's 5'9". You know, that'll be the slot, the slot position. So we'll have it like that. This guy's 6'5", red zone threat if I've ever seen one. 6'5", 220. But yeah, Lee Evans, starter. Yeah, that's, we need to work on uh, wide receivers for sure. This is going to be how the tight ends are. Yeah, no no one really that big. We'll need to see if we can get a tight end and so and upcoming drafts or even free agency yeah the line we need a little upgrading there but not not terrible for the first year i guess defensive line not bad let's see can we start carrington yeah we're gonna start carrington left outside the linebacker I'm see about uh starting mitchell out there We'll just switch him and Davis at middle linebacker, right outside linebacker. Yeah, we'll just do Shovel. That's not looking too bad. Definitely good. I love the safeties. I love the safety core for sure. That's going to be a staple for us moving forward. Kick returner. We'll do Parrish and McGee. You know what? We'll, nah. Parrish and McGee. That'll do Parrish, punt returner. Yep. And you know what? We'll, we'll we'll put. I know I said <laughs> I know I said Fred Jackson third down Marshawn Lynch though, but uh, do I actually Fred Jackson is a 98. But uh, you know what? Ah, but this is a Bill Bills rebuild. This isn't like a Seahawks when I know you Bills fans out there. You love Fred Jackson more than you do Marshawn Lynch. At least I am pretty positive because you know he was part of your franchise. He was an unsung hero. Fred Jackson was. I'm, I'm going to put Fred Jackson as the starter just for you guys. Marshawn Lynch is going to come in on third down and see what he can do. Fitzpatrick's going to lead your team to greatness. Are you kidding me? Uh... <laughs> is this live? Let's get into this season. Let's see what the first season has in store for us and see how we need to rebuild this team and what we need to work at. I'll see at the end of the season. Hopefully this record's pretty good. It was in the Chargers rebuild, but uh, we didn't make it in the 49ers one. Hopefully this is more like the Chargers rebuild. Oh man, if Fred Jackson is even half as good as LaDainian Tomlinson was, we are in for a treat. Let's get to the end of the season. Coach Chan... Oh yeah, that's right, Chan Gailey. <laughs> oh man. Oh, sorry, Bills fans. Anyway, your team does not have the number of tackles required. Yes. Let's sign a player. Who do we got? Who do we got at left tackle? Ooh, Ephraim Salem. <clears throat> Ephraim Salem. Ephraim Salam. <laughs> Ephraim Salami. We got Ephraim Salam. That's actually not bad. He's 34, though. 
Herb Taylor. I don't think I know Herb Taylor. I know Damian McIntosh. Kirk Barton. Uh, yeah, let's go with Ephraim Salam. Salam. S Salami. Let's go with Ephraimi Salami. 67310. You like that? You like that? Yeah, I like it. Oh, contract length. We we don't just sign them to one year automatically. Oh, that's beautiful. What do you think about that, bud? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> you just said we needed a tackle. And <laughs> you just said we needed a tackle and we don't have room on the fucking roster? What? <laughs> what kind of G... Okay. All right. Okay, let's uh, let's make room on the roster, I guess. Mm, yeah. Bye-bye. Sorry, Chad. Chad, sorry, Chaddy. Ooh, I just looked at our, uh, I just looked at our record and oof, 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 ha, sha, ooh, ow, ouchie, mama, that, uh, that, uh, oof, daddy. I, I, I can't even manage going through the menu just looking at that. Oh, <laughs> ooh, Brian Westbrook, but we already have good running belt. Do we do it? Do you guys want to do it? We need a. We kind of need a wide receiver. We need to release someone else though. Do it. Kind of want to do it. Do it. We're gonna do it. Fuck it. We're gonna do. It. <laughs> we are going to do it. Two years. We'll give him. We'll give him 15 mil over two years. See if he takes it. Accept it. We got Terrell Owens. Oh my God. What? Are you kidding me? Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're one in seven. Why? Why not? Get get some fans in the stands, you know what I mean? And we'll release one of those middle linebackers, I guess, and pick up Eframi Salami uh, off the free agent market, and then we'll get back to uh, losing, I guess. <laughs> There's some good names on uh, on free agency on the free agency market right now. I'm surprised they're not picked up in week eight. They're not picked up yet. All right, what what were we gonna offer you? Offer accepted. All right, let's get back to uh, let's get back to work and uh, get to this off season and see if we can better our team. As wrong as this sounds, I just hope we don't start winning out now that we have Terrell Owens and go eight and eight and then get a terrible spot in the draft and everything. I kind of hope we just from now on just keep losing. I mean, we're worse than the fucking Lions. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's sim. Let's sim. I'll see you at the end of the season. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> we need to uh, sign a defensive tackle, which means we probably need to get rid of somebody else. Uh, all right, guys. I was thinking about Hollis Thomas because he was a pretty damn good defensive tackle for the for the Eagles for a while, but he's only a 67, and he's 36. Gerard Warren, who I actually thought of too, he's a 68. But I think we're going to go Kendrick Clancy. He's 31 years old, and he's a 72, as opposed to Chuck Darby, who's also a 72, but 34. I think we're going to go with Kendrick Clancy. Just get this out of the way and maybe get to the end of the season this time. So, uh, yeah, we're going to sign him. Accepted. And uh, just so you know, we got rid of one of the linebackers. Doesn't matter. Did I see Dan Kleck on there? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we are a, ouch, 4-12 and 12 team, season over, better luck next year, thank you so much. And wait, what is that? What's the extra point? I know, I, I, I know what it is. I, this is a whole build-up to letting you see <laughs> what should be in men. Look at this, Look, watch this. Yeah, yeah, this. Yep, the extra point, guess what this is? This is the a extra wrap up point. show. Yep. Hi everyone. Welcome yep. To the it is a wrap-up show where you can NFL Network. where well, you can go in to and what you want to see. Round. We'll break down those oh my God. But first, Alex will tell us who won the season's top award. Wow. Why is it? Player of oh the year. man. Player of the year. Wow. Two thousand yards. Congratulations to the outstanding yeah. offensive and defensive rookies yep. of the year. Oh my God! This needs to be in the game, guys. All right. <laughs> Let's get in this off season, I guess. Oh, playable Pro Bowl. Of course. <laughs> man. Ooh, the Falcons Patriots. I wonder who wins. <laughs> who won? Can we, are you kidding me? The Falcons beat the Patriots in the Super Bowl? Oh, that's funny. That is absolutely hilarious. 9, 6, and 1. Falcons beat the Patriots. The 13 and 3 Patriots in the Super Bowl. 26 to 21. That's uh, that's pretty good. All right, let's get into this offseason and see whew, what we can do with this team. <laughs> 
Alright guys, real quick note, I uh, kind of forgot to do stats before I did like everything out like free agency and stuff and apparently it shows, I can get to stats, but uh, it shows <laughs> the stats for people who I got in free agency, so I'm going to show you free agency first <laughs> and then I'm going to show you the stats of last season, my bad on that from here on out. I'll show you the stats before we go to the offseason. My bad about that, guys. So, I will show after the steps and after free agency, I will show you the stats. As you can see here, though, we got a punt return TD for Roscoe Parrish. So, all right. My bad, guys. I was just, uh, I guess I was just too, I just, my mind did not want to see it. My mind, we were 4 and 12. I did not want to see those stats. Uh, I've actually looked at Ryan Fitzpatrick and whew, there was no magic in what uh, what he did. <laughs> I'll see you after free agency for stats. My bad, guys. All right, so we can pick our staffs in this, man. That's awesome. Especially because I don't want Chan Gailey. I know no one here wants Chan Gailey, especially if you're a Bills fan. So you know what? Bye bye You were gone. You know what? You were gone. You were gone. <laughs> and you are gone. All right, let's uh, see who who we can hire. All right, we got Pete Carroll. Um, that's an interesting one. Do we want Pete Carroll? If we get a young team, I think Pete Carroll's the head coach you want. But with a older team, and kind of we do have an, a little bit of an older team right now, you kind of don't want him. He's a young guy's coach because you know that gum he's chewing is actually stem cell infused gum. So you know he's he, he, that's where he gets all of all of his young spunkness pete carroll does that's that's why he's always hip and <laughs> what anyway yeah that's an option i guess but eesh, it's not going too well for him at the moment so maybe not Mar marvin lewis actually hit the market are you kidding me or is this uh oh these are okay yeah he didn't hit the market all right let's let's look from the available i guess oops i was in the nfl um let's see uh butcher <laughs> hey, Charles Manson's brother. All right, Curlew. Who are you people? <laughs> Who are you people? Marty, I'm scared. Hey, Ron Rivera. Okay, there's some, some. Is that Rex or Rob Ryan? Can we see? Rob, that's Rob Ryan. Okay. So we got Rob Ryan, who's definitely not gonna be on our team. Hey, Wade Phillips. Can we get him for defensive coordinator? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, please. Oh, yeah. But three years, we'll max that, max that out. Three years, four mil. Come on. Yes. We've got Wade Phillips. Probably, in my opinion, one of, if not the best, defensive coordinator to ever defensive coordinate. What? Anyway, yes. That is awesome. Yes. That is, uh, especially with the defense we have right now, that is big. I like I really am glad that we got that. Norv Turner, possibly offensive court. Andy Reid? And, and this is available. This is an NFL. Are you kidding me? Andy Reid's available? Yes. Yes, please. Can we get him for... We'll get him for the four years. And we'll pay him also four mil if he wants to accept that. Rejected. Yeah, he doesn't want to be paid as much as Wade Phillips. Are you kidding me? He wants more. And we understand, so we'll give him 500 grand more than Wade. What do you say? Accepted, solid, and we'll get we'll get North Turner for our offensive coordinator position. So we have all all former head coaches or head coaches as our uh, coordinators. That's awesome. Yeah, three three fifty. No, not head coach, offensive coordinator. What do you say, buddy? Yes. All right. We got Nero Turner. That's a pretty good coaching staff, actually. Head coach Andy Reid. And look what he's doing with Patty Mahomes. Look at what Norv Turner did after he got back to coordinating offenses with Teddy Bridgewater in Minnesota before he left. And then Wade Phillips just, I mean, with the Rams, the Broncos, I mean, Cowboys, just everyone. Just he's a really good defensive coordinator. Got really good schemes and everything. So. And then we just, we need some random as our special teams coordinator. If we can find like Dave Tube or someone, if we could find that, I wonder where, if Dave Tube's available, you know, Dave Tube, uh, Chiefs. Oh, oh, are you kidding? The Chiefs special teams coordinator. He's like one of the best special teams coordinators in the league, if not the best. 
Oh, man. Because uh, he was even up for head coaching positions, possibly, like last year and in this past offseason. Oh, man. Yes. Are you kidding me? Dave Tube available? Yes. <laughs> we got Dave Tube, everybody. Oh, man. We got the like the best staff in the world. Are you kidding me? Just look at this staff, guys. We're building. We're going to build one of the best teams ever in NFL history. Oh, that's for sure. Hey, we got the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company uh, trying to sponsor us. No, not really the Scorn Paper Company. But you know what? We're going to and it's going to be the Dunder Mifflin Paper Company for fans of the office. Uh, so a team from Skarnton, Skarnton, Pennsylvania. I, I tried to make that work. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> so a paper company from Pennsylvania is going to try to sponsor the Bills, and we're going to take it for 14 wins. Pfft. Come on, we're going to get it. Thank you, Michael Scott, for your belief in us. It's Brittany, bitch, and I am back. <laughs> Mamma mia, mamma mia. All right, we did have one retirement, and that was Terrell Owens. He was like, yeah, I'm uh, I'm done. So uh, in five years, he will be getting a gold jacket. Actually, in what, seven years, he'll be getting a gold jacket because, yeah, we all know what happens, and he won't show up to the Hall of Fame ceremony. We all know how that went down. But, uh, yeah, Terrell Owens retired. Ooh, God. Look at all these. Look at all these zeros. We need to re What? Oh, man, that's like half our team. Are you kidding me? Really? Ouch. We're going to, yeah, we're going to resign Paul for sure. That's definitely on the list. Accepted. Awesome. Awesome. So we got Paul back. We're going to get Ryan Fitzpatrick, it, at least for depth, because, you know, everyone, everyone here knows that that guy has the best beard. I mean, that's not what I meant to say. I mean, everyone knows that this guy is the best backup quarterback ever. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna get this guy and the beard helps. I mean he doesn't in that picture But we know he's about to grow the best beard ever. So we're gonna sign him for five years Trent Edwards can go to hell <laughs> no, <laughs> Trent Edwards can uh, get off this team Reggie corner uh... It was fun while it lasted, Reggie. We're going to have to let you go, Drake Florence. Nah. So, I mean, we're losing a lot of people, but it's, you know, a lot of people we don't really need. Uh, George Wilson for depth. Eh, he's 30. Eh, we'll see what we can do in free agency. If he comes back in free agency, we'll accept him with open arms. If not, we'll be okay. So let's go to free agent wire. All right, let's see who we can get in free agency, guys. Wow, we start out with a rapist. Nice. Hey, Ricky Williams. We do have uh, we do have good running backs, so I don't know if we'll get Ricky Williams. But uh, anyway, we're uh, I'm gonna jump to the end and just show you who we got. All right, everybody. Yeah, we have uh, we lost a lot of people, so we signed a good bit of people. What are we, the Jacksonville Jaguars? Anyway, <laughs> uh, we signed Garrett Hartley because we lost our kicker. We signed Anthony Collins, who should be a solid tackle for us, left tackle for us. Earl Bennett, wide receiver. We needed a wide receiver since Terrell Owens retired, and we didn't have much depth anyway. Should have signed another one, but we didn't. AJ Hawk at middle linebacker. We lost Andre Davis. And just we need somebody to compliment Paul Pozlesny. And we might even move AJ Hawk on the outside. You never know. Uh, that is definitely a possibility for us. Yonda. <laughs> He's only a 78 in this game. He's one of the best guards in football. So, I mean, uh, I, I, I had to do it. Brandon Carr just to add some good depth to our... Uh, cornerback group, uh, Levi Jones, just just in case, uh, might flip him or Collins, probably him, to the right tackle position. Peyton Hillis, because uh, name value and you know he, he's a 75, and he was the co he's going to be the cover athlete for the next year. So instead of the Browns getting him, why not us, right? <laughs> so he's going to be the cover athlete for us in the next one. Demetrius Bell, we signed him back. Probably you know use him on the line somewhere. Uh, just depth pickup 
Randy McMichael because you know we needed a tight end first of all, and you know he's pretty he's pretty damn good for the Dolphins. So you know we decided yes we want you. So we got Randy McMichael, and then all right we got Michael Vick. Okay, why not? Right? We we talked about fans in the stands, and you know Michael Vick's gonna get fans in the stands and. This is uh, this is close to the year that he just broke. I think it was 2012 where he just broke out for the Eagles, and him and Deshaun Jackson and just, oh man, it was crazy, crazy. Uh, it, it was a it was a show for sure. And now we have Michael Vick on our squad, and uh, we're looking uh, we're looking all right. We definitely need more pieces, and we're we're gonna look to uh, the draft for that. Hopefully, hopefully we draft some good people. I'll see you at the end of the draft with who we drafted. Real players, real players. I will uh, see you at the end of the draft with who we got. All right, guys, uh, we are at stats. Uh, sorry for the mix-up there, or the forgetting to look at the stats. We'll do that from here on out. But as you can see, Ryan Fitzpatrick just shy of 3,000 yards and whew, 9 to 18 so he has 0.5 touchdown to interception ratio which is terrible how many times was he sacked he was oh it doesn't say how many times he or did it sacked 46 times so that's not good so glad we got michael vick on the team he went 10 for 7 just under a thousand so you know <laughs> Maybe we can do something with that. 58.5 rating. Eesh. Rushing the ball. 1,300 yards and 7 TDs from Fred Jackson. The legendary Bill Fred Jackson. So that's awesome. Good to build on that. Michael Vick got some. <laughs> Not for us, but uh, I guess for the Eagles. And then Marshawn Lynch got uh, got a little, little bit there. Receiving the ball. 1,100 yards. We don't know what uh, we don't know what Terrell Owens did because he retired and so, you know, oops. But uh, 87 receptions, 1,100 yards, 6 TDs from Evans. That, so that's a good good little bit. Er, Earl Bennett, which we're going to get, he got a touchdown. Just under 500 yards. So maybe he can have an expanded role with us because I believe he was on the Bears before this. Defensively, sacks-wise, Marcus Stroud got 8, 7.5 from Dwan Edwards. And then 5 and 5 from Shovel and Quinn. Kawika, Kawika Mitchell, who we uh, moved to outside linebacker from middle linebacker in the depth chart. Interceptions, four from Jarius Bird, which is nice. Three from Brandon Carr, who we picked up. Three from Brandon Carr, who we just picked up. He didn't get three for us, but uh, hopefully in this next year, he'll get three or more for us. Terrence McGee got two with us. Kawika Mitchell got two with us. Shobel even got one. And then we didn't get any blocks or safeties. We got one touchdown from... No, we did not. <laughs> Brandon Carr got a touchdown, but not for us. So, uh, yeah, I definitely want to look at stats before we... I don't know why. I, again, I think it was just me. My my subconscious was like, eh, you don't want to look at what a team that went 4-12, and their, what their stats were. Uh, field goal, 84 percentage from... Garrett Hartley, not Ryan Lindell, so, <laughs> my bad, oh man, nothing in kick return, and like we said before all this, punt return, Roscoe Parrish, which is nice, yeah, let's, uh, let's get better, um, now to the, uh, who we picked up in the draft, <laughs> oh man, all right, guys, a major oof, just oof, oofa loompa, right, oofa loofa, Oh man, um, this was my first pick. <laughs> he was projected top five. Uh, measurables were off, off, outstanding. Everything was great, and just yep, 65 overall. We made it, Tory Smith. Ouch. <laughs> so that was our first pick. Oh man, this is in no particular order. We got Malcolm Smith, Phil Taylor, Dion Lewis. And then Tyrod Taylor, yeah, that was our best pick uh, aside from the tight end pick we got. We got Jeremy Curley, and then the tight end somewhere around here. There we at Jordan Cameron at tight end. We didn't get anyone over a 69. Are you kidding me? Wow, that uh, that really, <laughs> oh man, that was a terrible, terrible draft. Oh my. God. God, what am I, the real Buffalo Bill? No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just joking with you guys. 
Oh man, though. So we got Tory Smith, Tyrod Taylor, and uh, Jordan Cameron. That's pretty, pretty much. And Deion Lewis, even though it's a 64, it, I made it Deion Lewis because his his like elusiveness and speed are really are pretty high. So uh, yeah, that's why I made it Deion Lewis. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, that's who we got. And then instead of doing the whole NFL, every team's rookies or top rookies, I did the top five rookies of the whole NF, like the whole draft. So the top five rookies that aren't mine and the top five as in not like the top five drafted but the top five in overall and just did it with the best of the position they were so let's show you those first off the cowboys got robert quinn wow okay so that's a pretty damn good compliment to demarcus Ware on the other side they're gonna look like um like the broncos did with von miller and to Marcus Ware, and that's pretty scary. That's going to be a scary defense for him. So, Robert Quinn, all right. The Dolphins getting Patrick Peterson and switching him to free safety. Okay. They think he'll do better at free safety than he would at cornerback, or uh, maybe they don't feel that way, but they need him at, uh, at free safety for sure. Over Rashad Jones, who I guess is in his second year as a pro, and would eventually become pretty pretty good for him but they think patrick peterson as a rookie can come in and he's already an 87 so yeah i guess so they got patrick peterson the 49ers getting the prize the major prize of this draft they get jj watt out of princeton whoops <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, everybody. There can only be one star player out of an Ivy League school, and that's all. We already got him, Ryan Fitzpatrick. So we had to change Princeton to Wisconsin. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, JJ Watt out of Wisconsin. He'll come into the 49ers, and him and Justin Smith. Oh my God, it's gonna be a crazy defense for the 49ers because look, Justin Smith, who's Brayo Franklin, but uh, JJ Watt. Justin Smith will wreak havoc for days on opposing offenses, and whew, I do not want to face that. All right, next up, the Saints getting Vaughn Miller out of Texas A&M. Wow, that's, uh, that's a really good compliment. I mean, that's already a Super Bowl team. That's why Breeze is on the cover of Man 11. Yeah, that's uh, Vaughn Miller is going to compliment what the team already has and should look to dominate as a rookie and so on and so forth for the saints oh man that's scary to think about <laughs> von miller on a saints defense uh, maybe they'll actually start to perform with him on the defense sorry saints fans <laughs> but hey it wouldn't hurt to have von miller that's for sure I'm, i know you guys can agree on that and then last and least out of this group of uh, rookies uh, tyron smith out of usc he'll look to aid that steelers line and big ben and getting them to more playoff games and then the Super Bowl. I mean, yeah, Tyron Smith, really, really good. They're moving him to right tackle, though. He's not going to be a left tackle. But yeah, Tyron Smith, really good tackle, really good player in general. He's been hurt recently, but in the beginning of his career, I mean, solid, one of the best tackles in the game, arguably. And uh, yeah, he'll definitely come in to the Steelers and do what they do. And yeah, that's that's a really big help for them. I uh, kind of wish I had uh, had that. <laughs> oh man, that was a god awful draft. We're gonna have to deal with that for the next couple of seasons. Hopefully, our free agency class will do enough to at least get us in the playoff range. But I I'm not I'm not feeling too hot about this season. Maybe maybe next season after another good after another draft and a good free agency class we can make something work but uh i will see you at the depth chart and then we'll get into this next season all right so here's what the depth chart is going to look like michael vick at quarterback ryan fitzmagic backing him up and you know we haven't been following the system we haven't been following the equation the equation we we started fitzmagic the whole the whole year the equation is your starting quarterback has to go down for fitzmagic to click you know did you hear that it has to click so uh, we we it's it's s sqb starting qb plus inj injury equals fm which is fits magic
You like Huey Lewis on the news? They're okay. Their early work was a little too new wave for my taste. But when sports came out in 83, I think they really came into their own, commercially and artistically. And they don't know the difference between what is real and what is a fantasy. Some people believe that psychopaths have a much higher threshold for physical pain. So, uh, congratulations. And let's start with the obvious. What happened over there in the top of your nose? I still haven't seen it, so I don't know how... I but they've learned to enjoy their own form of grandiosity. They're narcissists. If they're smart, they know how to fake care. Yeah, my, my role is, is completely different today than it was last Wednesday. You know, the reason being uh, this, was, this was Jake's team, and, you know, with, with Jake now being injured, I've got to go out there and let them know what I expect behind the scenes to him. But, uh... Because it's not just about the pleasures of conformity and the importance of trends. It's also a personal statement about the band itself. Hey, Paul! Ah! Try getting a reservation at Dorsey now, you fucking stupid bastard! So uh, that's the equation. So we're going to start Michael Vick. I mean, you know, either he does really good or, you know, I mean, I'm not saying, uh, you know, Michael Vick should get injured. But, you know, you know so that's, uh, you know, if we want the equation to work, if we want to have a great season, I mean, I, I'm sure he's willing to take one for the team. I'm willing for him to take one for the team at least and you know whatever so Fitzmagic <laughs> oh man Fitzmagic is going to be the backup quarterback and he does that well Tyrod Taylor in the third quarterback position running back is going to be Fred Jackson CJ Spiller Marshawn Lynch took a hit so he's going to be third string fullback Peyton Hillis wide receiver Lee Evans Earl Bennett and then Torrey Smith we're going to see if he can get get up get up and get his overall up from a 65 so we have him in third and then marcus easley tight end sean nelson randy mcmichael anthony collins levitri wood yonda and jones that's not a bad line i like that line marcus stroud juan edwards defensive tackles kyle williams alex carrington that's nice that's nice left outside linebacker kawika mitchell who is or kaika is it kawika or Ka kaika put it in the comments below that do the exact pronunciation like how it would be <laughs> i have no idea kawika i'm gonna just say kawika because that's what i think it is kawika mitchell and then paul Pazlesny, who we were able to retain which is awesome fantastic glad we were able to do that and then aj hawk the other outside linebackers <laughs> position so we have three middle linebackers natural middle linebackers at uh, all linebacker spots cornerback leotis mckelvin terrence mcgee brandon carr perfect that's really good jairus bird at free safety and strong safety dante hitner almost got it legally changed to hitner as it should have oh man that guy can that guy can hit Anyway, Dante Whitner, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm liking this defense, especially with Wade Phillips. Are you kidding me? He's going to get the most out of these players. It's going to be awesome. Kicker, Garrett Hartley, punter, Brian Mormon. I wonder if he's actually Mormon. <laughs> That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. Uh, Deion Lewis, Roscoe Parrish, kick returner, punt returner, Roscoe Parrish. Deion Lewis coming in if need be. Kickoff specialist Garrett Hartley, long snapper Eric Wood, third down back CJ Spiller, because he's a 99. We could have Fred Jackson, but I kind of want to split up, split it up a little bit, and then yeah, back to back to quarterbacks. So, all right, we are about to jump into the season, see how well we can do in the second season with new players, new team, new coaching staff, which is actually probably the biggest, biggest impact this this team can have in year two. 
I mean, North Turner offense, Wade Phillips defense, led by Andy Reid. Andy Reid loves Michael Vick. He He's the one that gave him the chance. Well, I won't say Andy Reid loves Michael Vick, but uh, I'm sure Michael Vick does love Andy Reid because he gave him a second chance after uh, you know, the, we're just going to call it the incident. <laughs> and that, yeah, Michael Vick proved Andy Reid right and balled out for him, got him in the playoffs and so on and so on. You know the story. So uh, that actually, I didn't think of that till now. That is a big factor that, I mean, Madden obviously doesn't implement stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we're going to have fun with it. And we're going to say that Michael Vick is going to be heavily impacted by an Andy Reid coaching uh, higher so and that's probably why he even joined the squad he was like oh yeah i'm joining because of andy reed anyway i'll see you at the end of the season Whew. let's do this give me something good give goof two we're, we're um we're uh we got better <laughs> All right, uh, let's uh, let's check stats. Uh, I I almost want to skip, just skip it again. <laughs> I just want to skip the stats again. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see him. Oh, Michael. Oh, Michael. Michael. Oh, Michael. 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 Oh, hey, Tyrod got in there a little bit. It looks like 1417, just shy of 3,000 yards, 51 sacks. Not good. Rushing, not even a thousand yards. Eight seventeen and seven from Jackson. Michael Vick got five two seventy three. Peyton Hillis, come on, Peyton, let's go. Getting a couple. At least we had a thousand yard receiver. Sixty six one thousand twenty eight and five. Been at fifty one seven thirty eight five. So he actually he did way better than he did the season prior. So that's good since he joined our team. Has a bigger role. Three from Nelson. A rookie, Tory Smith, getting 32, 283, and 2. Yeah. Fred Jackson getting some out of the backfield. McMichael, oh, man, didn't even do nothing. I guess didn't even do something. Sorry. <laughs> Language, what is it? Anyway, yeah, not not too great. And then defensively, sacks. Alex Carrington got 8.5. That's, yeah, we need to do better. Juan Edwards got hurt. He got 7, though, before he got hurt. 5.5 from Kyle Williams, Stroud with some, A.J. Hawk, new, newly acquired A.J. Hawk in two. He got three picks, so let's see. Check picks three from Kevin Payne, whoever that is. I, I don't even know the guy, and he's getting he's tied for top. A.J. Hawk getting the three, Terrence McGee getting the three, two from Whitner, two from Bird, Carr with one, two from Kuika Mitchell, one from... Kelvin, one from Pazlesny. Yeah. Any blocks? We got two block kicks. One from Carr, one from Mitchell. All right. Any safety? No safeties. Touchdowns? No defensive touchdowns. Oh, man. You know how I like to see defensive touchdowns. So that sucks. Kicking. Hey, above 80. You know, my baseline's 80 and 50. So Garrett Hartley matched a little, little bit better than those, which is good. He did miss an extra point, which is not good because that's before this game has, was put out before the uh, rule that moved it move the kick back the extra point back so he's missing that from the two yard line which is not great i'll give him i'll give him the field i'll give him one maybe it was blocked holder messed up or something field goal percentage i like that field goal long i like that so that's not bad no kick returns no, well one punt return from evans okay on his only punt return he scored an 88 yard 88 yard punt return touchdown even though it says as long as 87 he scored an 88 yard yarder okay anyway good he got one and yeah back to all right so we're no longer on square one we are in square point one point four i'll get i i don't know okay we we oh we have some work to do all right let's get into this off season it was the first year with a new staff uh new quarterback yeah we we need a little bit time to build and then we're about to do that let's <laughs> let's do that all right we had no one retire which is pretty good resignings resignings we have pretty much everyone locked uh, well we have everyone locked up for at least an another year which is interesting i do want to sign I'll, I'll resign bird and jackson for sure probably probably Kel McKelvin. so we'll we'll sign bird you know what uh 
we'll sign we'll re-sign Bird, Levitri, McKelvin, Jackson, and let everyone else at least play out this year and we'll, we'll we'll check him next year all right we were not able to get leotis mckelvin but we got the other ones so uh we'll go from there um i mean we got kelvin for at least another year so maybe we can re-sign him in the other uh in the ne next year but we weren't able to re-sign him this year he was just being a little, little bitch baby about it so you know whatever whatever leotis we don't even want you anyway no i'm joking we we we, <laughs> we want you buddy um, just think it over uh, another year, and maybe uh, maybe we can get you next year. Uh, what's the next free agency wire? Okay, let's see what we can do. I'll I'll meet you at the end with who we got. All right, everybody, we got uh, T.J. Lang, James Casey, Kyle Williams, Athea. Uh, sorry, Audubon, <laughs> Ruben. I've always wanted to say a a Theba or something like that, but. Uh, not because I'm dyslexic, just because, eh, you know, kind of kind of sounds cooler. I mean, uh, Ataba or Theba, I don't know. It's whatever. <laughs> uh, but uh, we got the old Reuben sandwich himself from uh, Iowa State. Ataba Reuben, Kareem McKenzie, and Ted Ginn Jr. poaching him from the Dolphins. Uh, it's, uh, that might be a good pickup, at least in the return game. And, uh, yeah, not... Not a bad class. Could have been a little bit better. There were a couple names out there that I wanted to get that uh, we didn't didn't get. But uh, we're not going to worry about that. We're going to just worry about ourselves and, uh, you know, continue to build this team. I will see you after the draft, I guess, with who we got. There's some good names out there this year. I mean, we could get Andrew Luck for quarterback. Robert Griffin III, Kirk Cousins, Russell Wilson, you know. Yeah, that's uh, that's not bad. And then we got, like, Alshon Jeffrey, T.Y. Hilton, Josh Gordon, Malik Jackson. Yeah, yeah, not a, not a Harrison Smith, not a bad draft. Anyway, I guess I will see you at the end of it with who we got and who the other top five rookies that we got. All right, everybody, we are back with this rookie class. And, uh, yeah, pretty good one. We got Chandler Jones. 83 overall left outside linebacker which is solid 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 i'm so glad about that and we got ronnie hillman you know eh, good depth i guess quentin copels as a depth player probably won't get much into the starting lineup but you know all right in depth and then we got our quarterback for the future uh actually unintentionally and i didn't mention this chandler jones was drafted in the fifth round but he's an 83, so we made it Chandler Jones. And then Kirk Cousins, we drafted him in the third. He was projected first or second, but we got him in the third. You like that? Yeah, he ended up being a 79, so hell yeah. I was thinking, you know, I guess 65. I was just like, ah, whatever, we'll take a chance. And yeah, so we made it Kirk Cousins. Is that it? I guess that's it. Yeah, that's it. So we got... Chandler Jones, Hillman, Copels, and Cousins. We got a couple more, but we decided to release them because, yeah, they weren't <laughs> they weren't ever gonna make the squad. So those are our four. And then now for the other five, the Buccaneers getting Flash Gordon, Josh Gordon out of Baylor. Luckily <laughs> for them, he he won't uh, face the same issues because Madden doesn't have weed in the game. So they don't won't have to worry about him off the field issues with him. They can just get the pure raw talent, and he's got a lot of it. Yeah, he's one of the best in football when it comes to talent. He just uh, you know can't utilize it because he's never on the field. But the Buccaneers get Josh Gordon, which is a really good pickup for them. All right, the Cardinals getting Alfred Morris out of Florida Atlantic. Go back up Beanie Wells. Beanie Wells, you remember Beanie Wells? I do. Man, they don't have anything at quarterback, so looks like they're going to be relying on Alfred Morris and Beanie Wells pretty heavily. Yeah, that was probably uh, needed to get a quarterback there, but hey, they got a running back, and it's Alfred Morris. All right, the Patriots getting Melvin Ingram. Ooh, that's scary. That's uh, actually in real life they got Chandler Jones here, so same amount of talent. They ended up getting Chandler Jones though, and oh uh, yeah, it looks like they really wanted an outside linebacker in this draft, and they got it in Melvin Ingram. Uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be terrifying. All right, uh, David DeCastro going to the Titans. They decided to build their line earlier than when they did in real life. 
uh, building it in the later 2010s. They decide to go earlier and get David DeCastro at a Stanford solid offensive lineman and definitely will help, I think, Vince Young and uh, Chris Johnson. Definitely help Chris Johnson in the running game. That is a good pickup for them. And then last but definitely not least, we got Derek Wolf, 88. And uh, side note, this was not the best defensive end in this draft. Uh, I mean, it was in this draft, but not in the real-life draft. The reason we picked Derek Wolf is because the other defensive ends, the better defensive ends and outside linebackers, are not white. And, um, yeah, he was white, and we cannot... We can't change the color of the player model, anything like that. We can't change height, weight, anything in this version of Madden. So we had to kind of, you know, pick. We were forced into Derek Wolf because he was the best white defensive end. Uh, it's Derek Wolf out of Cincinnati. He is a beast in real life, though. Don't get me wrong. He is really good and very deserving of that 88. Okay, let's let's get this started. Let's see if we can do better than six and 10. We've got Kirk Cousins, and we are ready to do this thing. Gonna skip past the depth chart because it's pretty much the same. I mean, Kirk Cousins is gonna start, uh, and you know, Fred Jackson, and so on and so forth. So I will see at the end of the season with our record, and hopefully I can give you guys some good news. I'll see you there. Oh, shit in my pants. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> uh, four and twelve okay all right let's check these stats all right as a rookie better quarterback play than we've had Michael Vick is literally the devil, getting 666 passing yards. <laughs> okay, Michael Vick, I see ya. Anyway, Kirk Cousins, just under 3,000 yards passing, 19 tees, 22 interceptions, so better quarterback play, still terrible, but better. Maybe that can be something the team builds on and goes to the Super Bowl next year because of rushing. Oh, uh, yeah. Receiving over a thousand yards by Earl Bennett or pickup. All right, he's he's been a good free agency signing so far. 87, 1,014, six touchdowns. James Casey also a free agency pickup. 73, 727, and six. Free agency pickup again, getting one. Torrey Smith, our first draft pick ever in this regime. 33, 275, and four TDs. Not bad. And my question is, where's Lee? Evans all the way down here he got injured oh man he was gonna have a good year <laughs> 16 catches 200 yards and four TDs four TDs off of 16 catches that was gonna be a monster touchdown here for Lee Evans whenever he got hurt because he was our he was one of our starters okay only 16 catches before he got hurt that's interesting defensively coming out uh, fairly strong. Dwan Edwards finally getting over 10 sacks in a season. We got 11 sacks from him, 7 from Stroud, 5 from Carrington, 3 from A.J. Hawk, and then 1 apiece from Taylor Copel's Reuben, Kelvin, Mabin, Motes, Earl Bennett. No, I didn't get a sack though. <laughs> Is that LaDainian Tomlinson 2.0 on my field? Anyway, Jarris Bird getting five picks, which is nice. I like to see that. Two from Hawk, two from Carr, who also got hurt. One from our rookie Chandler Jones, who didn't even get a sack. Are you kidding me? Chandler Jones not even getting a sack. That's crazy to think about. Chandler Jones not even getting a sack in a season. One from Pazlesny, who got uh, hurt as well. And one from McGee. Oh, whoa, we got three blocks. One from Chandler Jones, three blocks on the season. One from Rashad Johnson, and also one from McGee. Good job, McGee. I'm seeing you, McGee. No safeties. We got one defensive touchdown by Chandler Jones. I guess it was off a of fumble recovery he got that he returned probably 11 yards so hey not a terrible season for Chandler Jones although we look for him to <laughs> start getting some pressure on the QB because that's crazy no sack not even one that's crazy but he did get a defensive TD so I gotta give him a little credit there that's worth at least you know the equivalence of what three four sacks in my mind 
uh, production wise he blocked a kick so that's another he did a lot for us this year but yeah we definitely need him to do more especially uh you know rushing the quarterback come on wade phillips motivate your guys get them in the right scheme i don't uh, he'll get us some sacks i'm sure all right 78 percent not good i mean baseline's 80 so close but yeah i still want it to be better way over 50 yards or not way over but I guess in relative terms, way over. I'll, t I'll take that. 56 yarder, that is not an easy make, and he did, so that's great. Kick return, nothing. Punt return, nothing. And we just got Ted Ginn to do nothing. Come on, Ted. Come on, Teddy. What are you doing, Teddy? Teddy? What are you doing, Teddy? <laughs> Anyway, looks like we have to go through yet another season. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the off season. All right, guys, so we did have a retirement. It was Shobel, so, uh, ouch. Uh, not really, actually. He was uh, more of a depth player than anything, but, yeah, he was getting up there, and he decided to call it quits. So, goodbye, Shobel. Uh, it was good knowing you. Let's get to re-signings. Uh, I think we have a, a little bit of work to do there. Lee Otis McKelvin. I'm looking at you, buddy. <laughs> I'm looking at you. All right, let's do this. Fuck you, Lee Otis McKelvin. I'll screw you, Alex. People fucking hate us or something. That team sucks. I don't want to go there. No. Mm -mm. No, sir. Oh, hey, Marcus Easley. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Brian. All right, so we resigned Brian Mormon, Jason McCordy, and Marcus Easley. Leotis basically told us to go fuck ourselves. And, um, yeah. And I will see you after free agency with who we picked up. All right. Let's make this team better. I didn't, what the fuck? I get, well, guys, I was going through and uh, doing some roster stuff. And I guess, uh, the computer, the computer signed Leotis McKelvin to a six-year deal. I didn't do that. I guess, uh, he tried out the market and saw that, uh, you know, that no one uh, wanted him. And he came crawling back, crying like a little Baby? Baby? One to, uh, you know, get on a roster, and we were like, you know what? Out of the mercy of our hearts, we will let you back, McKelvin. And uh, I guess we got Leonis <laughs> McKelvin back. I have no idea. I didn't do anything to get him back, but there he is. So, um, cool. I'll take it. All right, and as you can see, we got Alex Carrington back. We moved him to defensive tackle fully. We were doing that just in the depth chart, but we decided to just move him there. He's an 84 overall. We got Jared Veld here, which will solidify our right tackle position which needed it that is good we got desmond briscoe who's an 80 in this game he was good on the 2007 kansas team one of the highlights of their team during that fantastic run back in the day back when <laughs> when they were doing pretty pretty well for themselves but the coach was an asshole or something he's an 80 in this game for some odd reason so we'll take it emmanuel sanders oh man oh manual oh heck yeah we got emmanuel sanders that should be good for us Everson Griffin, I guess before he was a household name, Everson Griffin, Sanders before he was a household name, and get this, Cam, Ch Cam Chancellor is 74 overall, Cam Chancellor, oh boy, this is, this is good stuff. He was on the market, we decided to take advantage of it, uh, and then we got Steve Valos to fill, uh, fill a depth position behind Eric Wood at center, we didn't have anyone so we got him, so yeah, he's, <laughs> if, if it were done five years ago this would be one of the best free agency classes of all time if this the bills or any team got this pick up oh man emmanuel sanders everson griffin and cam chancellor that's pretty good all right i will see you after the draft and we are back first off we got a solid pickup in micah hyde uh, kiko alonzo should solidify that right outside linebacker position for us backing him up we got alec ogletree ogletree uh, solidify that right outside linebacker spot for us which is good he was really good rookie for the bills and before the LaShawn McCoy trade which 
sent him to the Eagles and, you know, showed glimpses but never really was the same after that. Ogletree backing him up at the right outside linebacker position. We got Giovanni Bernard. Okay. He's a good, uh, he's a good multi-purpose back. Uh, like a very poor man's Le'Veon Bell. Very poor man's Le'Veon Bell. But he can be a threat in the receiving game, the running game, and even return game, but he won't be used there. Next up, we got Bakari Rambo. He's actually the last pick that we got, but we got Bakari Rambo, who is actually a bill for a, for a little bit. So that's pretty cool that we got uh, Rambo and Alonzo and now Micah Hyde, who's uh, now on the Bills on the team, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> now for the other five players that we put into the game, the other five rookies that we put in the game. The Cardinals double dipping on good picks back to back years. They got Keenan Allen uh, out of Cal. He should, yeah, he should look to dominate for him. Did they get better at quarterback? They got Kyle Ronka. Okay. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> they got Matt Schaub. <laughs> they got Matt Schaub at starting quarterback, which is not bad, especially for that time. He's an 88. So him, Beanie Wells, Alfred Morris, Larry Fitzgerald, and Keenan Allen, Steve Breston are yeah, they're looking to tear up the league for sure. All right, to back up Bob Sanders and probably take over for him in, in a little bit, they got Tyron Matthew. The Colts got Tyron Matthew out of LSU. He's an 83, and he's looking to be pretty good for him. Definitely a replacement for Bob Sanders and basically an insurance because Bob Sanders, he got injured a lot during his career. So Tyron Matthew coming in, he'll be a solid, solid pickup for the Colts defense. So that was a good pickup for the Colts. All right, the Ravens got Jamie Collins instead of the Patriots. The Jamie Collins train is going to the Ravens. And I guarantee you in a couple years, they're not going to be done with him. And even if they are, they will not send him to the Browns <laughs> like the Patriots did. Yeah, Jamie Collins, solid. He's going to start right away. Originally an outside linebacker. He'll be an inside linebacker in the Ravens scheme. Replacing Ray Lewis, it looks like. No more Ray Lewis for the Ravens, so they decide to go Jamie Collins. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for the other rookies that I made, and... Uh, <laughs> Apparently, uh, the Colts have uh, the other in the free safety. They have Bobby Sanders instead of Bob Sanders. That's actually, that is hilarious. Bobby Sanders. Oh, that's funny. I wonder if that's his younger brother. <laughs> yeah, we're going to name one Bob and one Bobby. That'll, that'll work out. Oh, man. Okay. Anyway, back to the other rookies. All right. The Dolphins getting Kyle Long um, out of Oregon. He'll be... He'll look to be pretty, pretty damn dominant for him. He's already an 89. An 89 as a rookie. An 89? Okay, are you kidding me? Uh, anyway, an 89 overall already. He's going to be the best guard in the NFL in a couple years. In Matt, in Matt. <laughs> But uh, yeah, Kyle Long, a dolphin. And real quick, I, I actually did want to share this with you and I almost forgot about it. You'll see the tweet of it before you see this video. Taylor Sachs. Now he is one of the top rated rookies, yes. But one reason why I didn't change him is because there were no good white defensive ends. And again, can't change color, can't change height, can't change weight. Anyway, another reason... Yes, his na his na he's defensive end and his last name is Sacks. Gonna keep it every time. Just like defense and corner. Just you know, like the, the guy's name's defense. The guy's name's corner. I mean, you can't change a perfect name. Sack last name Sacks had to keep it, so um, didn't change him. Couldn't really change him without it being. Yeah, I mean, you want Bjorn Werner uh, out there. As, as an 87? No, I didn't think so. Me neither. But anyway, had to keep that. Uh, you'll see my tweet. I'm, I'm, I took a picture. I'm probably going to tweet it. And then last but certainly not least, Ezekiel Ansah. The Chargers lost out on Melvin Ingram the year before he went to the Patriots. So the Chargers were like, we need somebody. So stealing them from the Lions, who got Derek Wolf instead, the Chargers get Ezekiel Ansah out of BYU, probably one of the only non-white players to ever come out of BYU, Ezekiel Ansah. That's crazy. <laughs> 
yeah, he's just, he's going to be a dominant presence for him. That's a pretty good pickup for the Chargers. And hey, maybe he will be the next Melvin Ingram in their scheme. So that's the rookie class for this year. I will see you at the end of the season. And boy, oh boy, we I'm saying we better at least be 10 and 6. Uh, if not, oh, that's going to hurt. Because this is year four. We need to get our shit together. We need to get our shit together. All your shit. So it's together. Come on. <laughs> so let's collectively get our shit together. All right. I'll see you at the end of the season. Oh, fuck. Caleb Haney. All right. So Kirk Cousins went down and yeah, two and four. And for some reason, instead of putting Tyrod Taylor in there, the game was like, fuck you. And put Caleb Haney in. Caleb Haney in, and he threw 24 interceptions. Shit, even Brian Mormon threw a fucking intercept. Oh my god. 10 TDs, 24 picks. Thank you, Caleb. And thank you, Coach Andy Reid, for not putting Tyra Taylor in there for more than, what, a game, maybe, a couple drives, whatever. Yeah, this. Oh, I'm not happy. <laughs> Rushing the ball, yeah, nothing. Only 8 TDs. Not, not even close to a thousand yards. CJ Spiller got shot or something. I don't know. He he was out. He's done. Receiving the ball. Not over a thousand this year. Uh, 420 smoke it up Briscoe. He's 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 smoked brisket right now because he's all 420. Uh, Desmond, come on. Anyway, James Casey, two TDs, three from Briscoe, one from Emmanuel Sanders, one from Evans, four from Bennett. At least, at least we can got a good we, Everson Griffin coming in, getting a good sack total. Um, 13.5 from him, 8.5 from Juan Edwards, Marcus Stroud getting six, 3.5 from Kerrington, three from Hawk, 2.5 from Williams, and Jones getting 1.5. Thank God he actually got on the sack board. Yeah, that's not where we need him to be either. Interception wise, five from Brandon Carr, not bad. Cam Chancellor, all right with three. Chandler Jones getting two, I'll give him that. He, he's getting interceptions, but kind of need him to sack quarterbacks. Uh, two from Hitner, Whitner. Two from Bird. One from McCordy, Hawk, Pazlesny, McGee. Old man McGee getting one. Uh, uh, no blocks, no safeties. One defensive touchdown from Brandon Carr. Assumably, he took a pick all the way back for a pick six. <laughs> Okay, good thing from the season. Fucking 90% field goal percentage. I'll take that every day. And uh, 51 long, which is also solid. So good job, Garrett. Uh, okay, kick return, nothing. Punt return, nothing. So, okay. I guess off season. I'll, I'll see you at retirements. Shoot, um, <laughs> I may just fucking retire after this. Oh my god. I don't know. I've, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not done. I got I got one more year of dealing with this. I'm going to get a playoff team together. It's up to them whether they go to the playoffs or not. I thought this was a damn good team. Should have been a playoff team. Kirk Cousins got hurt. And fucking Caleb Haney. Are you kidding me, Bills? Classic Bills. They did it with Nathan Peterman. Classic Bills. Just like, hey, yeah, Trent Edwards will work. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. J.P. Lossman will work. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? How in the hell will Caleb Haney not work? Work. I put a team together, and the fucking Bills are like, yeah, you know, nah. We're not going to go with Tyrod Taylor. Got us to the playoffs. No, we're not going with Tyrod Taylor. Nuh-uh. We're going to go with Nathan Peterman. Nuh-uh. We're going with Caleb fucking Haney. Uh, are you kidding me? <laughs> Sorry, I needed to rant that one out. Anyway, didn't go with Tyrod Taylor. Should have went with Tyrod Taylor. I mean, come on. I mean, I put him back onto the Bills for a reason. It's because he's pretty good when we need him. Caleb Haney. Why was Caleb Haney? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, good vibes, good vibes. We're going to the playoffs on this next season because... Kirk Cousins is not going to get hurt. You know what? Real quick, I do want to see what Kirk Cousins' injury was. It's just like career, Kirk Cousins, torn whatever career ending. 
torn asshole career ending. I don't know. All right, Kirk. Kirk Cousins had a fractured elbow and CJ Spiller tore his asshole. I mean, his hamstring. Okay. So maybe he'll be able to come back from that. Hopefully he'll be able to come back from that. Drew Brees was able to come back from a torn rotator cuff. I think anything is possible. We're going to the playoffs this next season. I can guarantee it. That's bold. Especially after 4-12 and season. We'll see if we can do it. I will see you in retirement. Alright guys, we had one retirement. I didn't even know we had him on the roster. Computer must have signed him. We had Jeff Backus retire at 36. So, okay. What the fuck? Uh... Uh, yeah. Ha ha ha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mr. Cribs. <laughs> it's last year. Why not? Just go crazy. TJ, who's your mama? I think this might be what we need to cross over into winning. I mean, I don't know what the hell else we can do to make this a winning team, really. I'm going to give some to Shanko here. Might as well. I like Shanko. <laughs> yes. Oh, Denver fucking got him. Ah, motherfuckers. <laughs> I want to talk. Yeah, I want to talk. At least we stole Miller from him. That's golden. Yeah, that's right. Eat that, Denver. <laughs> we took Von Miller away from you. Either that or we took Von Miller first and they were like, no, fuck you. We took Justin Tuck. Uh, I'd rather have Von Miller anyway, but uh, it would have been nice to have Tuck as well. All right, in this free agency class, we got Vasante Shanko, David Deal. All right, that's, a, that's actually a pretty good pickup. Ziggy Hood, because Dwan Edwards did not want to join our team. And uh, guess, guess what? Just real quick, guess what? ba da ba ba, -ba. I'm fucking loving it. Dwan Edwards still on the market. It. No one wanted him. No one wanted his bum ass. I mean, we kind of did, but you know, whatever. <laughs> no one else wants his bum ass. God dang, man. Are you kidding me, Dewan Edwards? <laughs> oh man, that's just, that just uh, that just makes me jolly. <laughs> that uh, that he is a sap and he has a green heart. He, he greedy green heart. We, he, he, now he's wanting to b borrowing, he's borrowing money <laughs> to afford his Groves estate on, on Kiesel Street. I, <laughs> I'm just trying, I'm just trying too hard now, but yeah, that just makes me jolly. Uh, Dwan Edwards is just out on the market, and, uh, I may have included a little video about this because I kind of did, uh, some stuff, a uh, little bit of video work in, um, in the free agency period and yeah you might have seen that we uh, <laughs> that we picked up Vaughn Miller um oh boy our defense our defense I mean look at this Vaughn Miller Paul Puzlesny 99 91 91 Colonel Chandler Jones 94 are you kidding me oh man our linebacking core is crazy and then our depth is actually pretty good Alec Ogletree AJ Hawk Kiko Alonso oh man we are supercharged at linebacker and oh man that's awesome all right as you can see we have a pretty good team so far I need to show you the rookies and then we're going to jump into the season. And I swear, if we cannot get at least into the wild card with this type of team, this man's broken because there's no there's no way that this team is an A playoff caliber team. Uh, I have no idea how this isn't a playoff caliber team. It's just crazy how good this team is, especially that defense. We've got Kirk Cousins. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> and uh, I, I've got a little treat for you. We have uh, someone uh, Kirk Cousins can throw to as well. So uh, I think he might be first. As well he is. Um, yeah, we got Odell Beckham Jr. on the team. Yeah, that's a good pickup. <laughs> that makes uh, that uh, almost entirely makes up just for the first year loan. Him and Chandler Jones. Chandler Jones kind of made up for it as well. But Odell Beckham Jr.? Yeah, are you kidding me? Kirk Cousins to Odell Beckham Jr.? got Earl Bennett still uh still proving that he was worth the uh pickup Desmond Briscoe uh still trying to prove that he was worth the pickup it's still an 80 Emmanuel Sanders dropping down a little bit he went from a 79 to a 77 which isn't that good and then Lee Evans took him but anyway yeah Odell Beckham Jr. yes ma'am and our only other pickup we got Timmy Jernigan he was actually the first pick I had and he was projected at top five 
defensive tackle and I was like, oh yeah, Aaron Donald, Aaron Donald. It's going to be Aaron Donald. He's going to be like an 87 or something and I'm going to be able to get him, make him Aaron Donald. I'm so excited and he's going to start right away and be awesome. And it was a 71. So <laughs> we made it Timmy Jernigan and then I actually picked up Odell Beckham Jr. in the second round. I, I have talk about uh, unexpected. We got Timmy Jernigan at number, I, I'm going to say we got him at number one overall. Timmy Jernigan. Are you kidding me? But uh, we more than made up for it with Odell Beckham Jr. in this first pick of the second round. That's awesome. That's our team. I'm going to show you the, I guess, the other five rookies real quick. And then uh, we'll jump into the season and try to make the best of it. We got <laughs> Clinton Dix. Clinton Dix. He's going to be a Jaguar. <laughs> anyway, he's going to be a Jaguar. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. That, oh man, that's got to be the worst name. I mean, I know that's not like his actual name, but seriously, for a name, that has to be one of the best names in the, in the comedy category ever to play in the NFL. And yeah, that's, I mean, the, the, you got to think that's way better than even Fletcher Cox. I mean, come on. Ha ha, Clinton Dix. Oh man, it's almost perfect. All right, next up we have uh, the Jets getting Demarcus Lawrence instead of the Cowboys out of Boise State. This guy is a powerhouse, one of the bright spots on the Cowboys defense. Pretty consistent, and yeah, he's gonna dominate for the Jets start right away. Yeah, that's a good pickup. And here we go. Here's the <laughs> the bell of the ball, the prize that I was hoping to get. The Panthers dug up the treasure of Aaron Donald out of this draft. Oh man. Yeah, the Panthers got got what I wanted, and I'm going to hate them for the rest of this rebuild for sure. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the uh, Panthers got 88 overall. Aaron Donald, monster. The Patriots getting the best left outside linebacker in the draft, getting Jadavion Clowney out of South Carolina. That monster hit and that uh, one-hand pickup of the fumble. Wow, Michigan at the 41. What a hit! Balls free on the ground, South Carolina. Just impressed Bill Belichick out of his fucking pants. And that was a weird one. Anyway, out of impressed him out of his pants. You know what? That's a good one. <laughs> anyway, Jade, uh, Jade. <clears throat> Anyway, Jade, Jadavia, anyway, Jadavion Clowney, uh, yeah, uh, his height doesn't match what he actually is, but, you know, whatever. It's Jadavion Clowney, uh, on the Patriots, which kind of sucks. All right, the Eagles getting Juwan James out of Tennessee. He'll be uh, an 84 right off the bat and start at left tackle. And if you're wondering, Jason Peters is at right tackle. He didn't leave the team. I guess they just wanted to have him at right tackle instead of left tackle. Juwan James is going to to take over that left tackle position so that kind of seems flip-flop to me but hey who am i to challenge uh whoever the coach is for the uh, is it doug peter it's not doug peterson unless they hired doug peter i have no idea who they're uh. anyway Jawan james 84 start right away gonna lock down the left side for the eagles and who you robert what the fuck what the fuck Who's Robert Yu? Robert Yu is an 82 starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. He started with the Green Bay Packers. And then he starts for the Eagles. 22 and 60, 11 and 11, 24. This guy's a fucking monster. That's awesome. What? Over 3,000. This guy is balling, man. Why can't I get that? <laughs> Like, this guy has over 10,000 yards already. And that's not a creative player or a computer creative player either. That's like a real guy. All right, guys, that was the rookie class for this year. Let's jump into the season and, oh, man, I will. <laughs> okay, uh, see you at the end of the season. Oh, come on. Deity needs a new pair of bulls. Why? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
they ask you how you are, you don't just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. No, anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, get ready to uh, buy a bigger swear jar, because fuck shit, damn it, f uh, fuck, 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 fuckity fuck, 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 fuck. All right, uh, statistically, a way better season, just barely under, under 3,000, 21 TDs, 15 interceptions, that still sucks, kind of, but relatively, it's elite season by Kirk Cousins, Captain Kirk. Couldn't get it done for us in the allotted time. Yeah, a run, running game, he's an 89. He's a fucking 89. Fuck you, Madden. What the fuck? He's like an 81 or some shit. Peyton Ellis was an 82. He's a fullback, so it doesn't fucking matter, but what the fuck? Where's, uh, how the, oh, he got injured? Oh, what the hell, man? Nothing. Oh, this just... 6-6, six, six, not, not even over 1,000. Sacks-wise, we did pretty damn good. Everson Griffin, who we picked up, has done great for us, 11. And then 10.5 from our newest pickup, or one of our newest pickups, Ziggy Hood. Uh, Vaughn Miller coming in, getting 4.5. Kiko Alonso getting 4.5. Where's Chandler Jones? Down there at 3, of course. Didn't even get a pick this year. Five interceptions from Jairus Bird. He's been awesome. Uh, Cam Chancellor got himself three from a backup spot at safety because he's behind Whitner. Three from Kel McKelvin. One from Puzlesny. One from McGee. One from Hawk. One from Carr. No blocks. No safeties. One defensive touchdown from Leotis McKelvin. Leotis McLovin. Oh, man, I should have thought of that sooner. Oh, man, after 90% season, you go down to 77. Oh, man, 55 long. Kick return. One kick return touchdown from Ted Ginn. All right. And one punt return from Ted Ginn. Awesome. Fuck. Okay. Uh, well, that sucks. <laughs> I was expecting to, you know, at least get to the playoffs. I wanted to play this game. I haven't actually, I haven't played this game in a long time. Whatever, Bills. So I may have to, you know, I may have to come in and play. I may have to come in and play this Madden again pretty soon. If you want to see that, comment a team down below that you want to see. Just any team could be your favorite team. The one with the most likes and or the team commented the most times. I will uh, I will do Madden 2011. So keep that in perspective. It's from 2011. So, you know, if there if you if you're one that just follows players around or something, check out where they were in 2011 and comment that team. I will gladly do that for you guys and i guess this is where we're gonna end it sorry we couldn't get any gameplay next time hopefully we can get that done yeah that that really sucks but if you enjoyed this video which i really hope you did i enjoyed bringing it to you hit that like button if you haven't already hit that subscribe button please hit that subscribe button if you haven't if you have subscribed but haven't done it yet hit that notification button it for some reason youtube is crazy it's crazy, and you need to hit the notification button to know that I post a video. At least that's what I've heard. So uh, just go ahead and do that so you don't miss any of my awesome videos. Let's see. Comment anything down below, especially who you want to see. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Follow my Twitter, at StrangeVoodooTV. I'll post on Sundays, uh, live tweets on Sundays about the football games and uh sporadically throughout the week sometimes monday some good stuff and yeah i guess that'll do it so uh, as always this is strange voodoo tv i am buddy strange stay strange people and i'll see you in the next one peace out